Oh. I did not say that. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duels. So today is Thursday, and we're using Pendulum Cash Dragon tagging with Tiago. I am late, of course. I apologize. Um, I'm just super busy, super tired, uh, and got a lot to tell you guys. But I'm just, ooh, I'm just tired, ridiculously tired. Like you do not understand. So Yazi. You're gonna go for a Yazi that cannot be destroyed by battle? No. A Moonlight Rose, okay. I thought you are gonna go for a Yazi, so. We have a Moonlight Rose that cannot be destroyed by battle and is unaffected by trap cards. Hmm. I thought you were gonna go for Yazi so you wouldn't be able to be targeted. That way you could, you know, not be destroyed by battle, can't be targeted and, but, but no. Alright. Well. Galaxy Soldier is going to get bounced back to the hand, which is not terrible because he still gets his effect. I, well, actually, it's actually still actually kind of bad. He still gets his search, but then he won't be on the field for Galaxy Eyes to go ahead and do his thing. So, you know, like, you know. So, it's, mm, eh. Dragon Star Materialization? I thought it was Yang Zing Creation. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's called Yang Zing Creation, right? Dragon Star, but Ma Dragon Star materialization just sounds badass as fuck. So totally don't mind the name of that that name. <laughs> so trying to figure out what Tiago could possibly do in this current situation, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Moon Moon traps and Battle Mission. Battle indestructible. Oh, at least it has the. This has the decency to tell you. So that's pretty nice. So. Mm. Wait. Why don't you just dark home? Well, I guess because you didn't want creation to go off, but you could have just do the dark home. It's immune to traps and battle destruction. You could just dark home. I hope that Dark Hole doesn't get destroyed. That would suck. Okay. Like I said, that was kind of risky. You know, especially if he can get something to, to destroy the Dark Hole, or if he gets something to destroy the Dark Hole. That's gonna suck. So... I don't know, I'm, I don't know. I think, I think the risk would have... I think it, the risk would have been worth it. I think throwing the Dark Hole at him... Not sure if he drew that off the trade end, but throwing the dark hole at him and allowing the creation to go off to summon the Yang Zing would be fine because of course, uh, okay, because of course, then you know it passed to his partner's turn. You know, creation nor his Yang Zings would have been able to go off. Oh, Talonites. Oh, then, then the most definitely a dark hole is going to get destroyed, or or should, unless he's going to take it slow and just go. The Neb. No, it looks like he's going to go for the push, so he's going to go. Uh, Vega summon the Neb and. Search, I'm assuming. I'd see into maybe Constellar Omega or maybe Lavalo Chain. Two decks that will definitely that or it's gonna be a pre pretty difficult time doing because they kinda out resource you. So yeah. two relevant decks, you know, their decks are newer than me and Tiger's decks, definitely. To an extent, I mean I guess my deck is kinda new-ish because it has the Pendulum aspect, but not new enough, not not strong enough, not resource heavy enough, you know. Generally when I push for my plays, I generally I neg while my our opponents here, you know, they go Deneb, search for Altair, Deneb, Altair, Deneb, Altair, Yang Zing, the Yang Zing, the Yang Zing, the Yang Zing. Who the fuck is that? Is that Proce a Procyon? Yeah, you got or, or whatever the fuck his name is. Okay. Interesting. Did not see that coming. I thought you were gonna get Altair. Oh my god, lots of back row. Yay, lots of back row. No surprise there either. Let me guess, Road to Kree is going to be nowhere in sight like usual. So we take all that good damage. <sighs> yep. No surprise there. Not even remotely.
Oh wait, he got something? Wow, alright. Oh, but that's game, that's game. That's game, that's most definitely game. Most definitely. Ridiculous. Alright, you got another one? If you hit me with it again, I'm gonna quit. I swear to God. Like, seriously, like, every single time. Because as soon as I summon this, it's just going to get returned to my hand anyway. Ah, uh, Yeah, that's game. There is not much we can do. Uh, I can try, but I uh, know I'm just going to get fucked up. Not, we're not even including the back row. We're just we are just going off of uh, just this. Uh, I could push for Leo. Yep, so that's going to go right back to my hand. Yep. The place where I totally never ever want that card is now where it's at. This tool. Ah, I don't know, there's no point in quitting, but I'm just not seeing it as of right now. The Yang Zing guy is lower my resource. Okay. Is Yang Zing continuous spell card? I guess. He quit. He fucking quit. He's like, don't use my card. We're partners, but don't use my card. Like, nigga, it's a partnership. Like, hello? Ah, so they quit. Oh, well, that's easier said than done. <laughs> so we actually won. Yay. All right, let's go ahead and get another game. So, go back. <sighs> I mean, it didn't matter if you needed it anyway. I was gonna, I was gonna rare decree that. Like, you know, definitely I was gonna rare decree that. So, yeah. But anyway, that was a tough one. That was definitely a tough one. I was hoping that the Royal Decree would allow Tiago to go off, but it was a tough one, definitely. This hand's not too bad. Actually, it's a pretty decent hand. Chances of me milling a dark and a light with this are fairly high. Fairly high. Alright, so it's the Yang Zing guy again. So, the return of don't use my... Oh, no, that's the other guy. He was there, but then he left, so... Okay, so, Yang Zing guy. I know that. I think that's using a different deck. Alright, he's just gonna take it slow. Alright, so we got this new guy here. Let's see what he's using. Should be telling you guys about my Wednesday, huh? I don't want this video going too long. I am like so tired, like completely just drained. Like you don't you don't even know. You don't even know. Like ridiculously drained. Like extremely drained. Is that more? More. 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 One more. Alright, cool. You done? I know, but like I said, when it comes to, to Yu-Gi-Oh, back row is ridiculous, so flipping up that Royal Decree, you know, I love it, I love it, I love I love Royal Decree so much, but Royal Decree is my favorite trap card in the way Yu-Gi-Oh, because I hate back row, I fucking hate back row. So even if, unless one of those is MST, and, and even if you draw the MST. Oh my god, of course. Oh my god. I'm getting real sick and tired of this. Uh, this is getting fun, isn't it? What'd I know? Eh, I milled dark. I just didn't mill a light or anything along those lines, so. Ah, uh, yep. This is gonna be a butt ton of fun. All the fucking background in the world. Okay, I'm 
just gonna end, end my turn. Ah. Uh, yeah, give me you. Sure. Yes. Give me that. Let's get all of that. You go off. Sure. I guess, like, like I said, this is gonna be fun with all that back row. But that wire tap, just, ah, uh, too good. I wish Tiago, if Tiago would have went first, we'd be so golden right now. Because he would even set the wire tap, and then during the never face flip up, so the Royal Decree would have went off before the wire tap would have been active. But because we went second, because we went second, once again, because we went second, this is fun. It's fun when you don't get even, well, it's fun when you can't even play Yu-Gi-Oh! because of all the back row. Like, I swear, it's so fucking fun. It's like the best shit ever. Opponent said it's better. This is gonna be fun with all that back row. Like, yeah, it is. We're gonna get to do nothing while you one us one up us with back row until we lose. I mean, simple as that. Simple as that. I mean, ah. Anyway, let me go ahead and tell you guys my Wednesday. So on my Wednesday, I have my education class and uh, women's literature. So, and actually, this video will actually connect with tomorrow's video. Because um, I'm deciding that heroes are not a deck to tag with. Definitely not. They, they, they're not a really good deck to tag with. Um, they, they, uh, they need the back row. They do. They need that one of aspect of them. You know. So, uh, majority of the time when I'm I'm with Holly, she handles a duel, and my plays are really anticlimactic. We need the back row. So, um, I'm deciding that just like it's. Um, it's Slate and a Mega Cap, I'm gonna put Stanzi with Holly. So those two are gonna be together on uh, Sunday, so yeah. Uh It's all the back row. you get for you. That's you get for you. Because I'm, I'm gonna try to play. I'm gonna try to do plays. You now, them stopping my plays doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that I don't have any plays. It just means that my plays got stopped. So, so hopefully we can go ahead and uh, do some plays here and some interesting stuff. I'm gonna take the duel slow though. I'm gonna play Time Gazer and Summon Raiden, and Raiden's gonna attack the formula. I will attempt to try to attack the formula because then next time I can just go Lumina and hopefully cross our fingers to try to go for a black rose. I mean, of course, with all this back row, they, they gotta have something for everything, so yeah. yeah. Not gonna be too surprised if I get completely haltered, but. Bottomless? It wouldn't be the best card to bottomless him, I'm tell you that. You can bottomless him if you want to. Or warning him. But I got much scarier cards in my hand than that. Oh yeah, I do. Oh yes, I do. Do I have any lights? No, I'm just gonna let it go. Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna go like, do I have any lights? Eclipse Rider Rings are like sitting like that. Like, hi, we're light. Like, I know. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Ah, fuck it. I'll take the go slow. No, my riding is stronger than your formula. So if you want to go ahead and play something, play it. D prison, go ahead. Mirror force, sure. Mirror force on one fucking monster, sure. Don't forget on my back. I totally don't mind that. But you still got max life points. Fuck it. I knew something was gonna happen to him. So what's the point? You know? What is the point? There is. Uh, there is no other point. There is none. What do you say? 
Oh, you actually have synergy with, uh, with you. Never thought of that. Huh. Nah, I'll take it slow. Fuck it. Actually, I didn't want to put the time gears there because I'm planning on black rose in the field, but fuck it. If, if, it, if it gets black rose, it gets black rose. I don't, I don't care. Okay, I, that's not what I care about. My concern is trying to actually be in this door. Because right now, it's, I'm having a very difficult time being in this door. I mean, if I do get the, if I, if my black rose does go off, and then he does have some Yang Zings on the field, you know, they won't get their effects, of course. So that'd be great. Right? Unless his partner is also using Yang Zings, in which case, then fuck it, because that's double Yang Zing, and that's just way too doing too much. Wow, look at them. They're just fucking sitting there, towering in fear. Like, hello. Both sides. I mean. You can go for Royal Decree, I mean, by the time we get it, should, the duel should be over. Ah, so, my education class, we're doing our, uh, our, uh, presentations. It's like 10 to 15 minute presentations on topics he gives us, so topics he gives us, and you know that it's extra boring. My topic is the difference between, uh, does it matter? Uh, do whatever. Do whatever. Oh, God. I'll try. I'm gonna try to get. Like I said, the back row is immense. So I'm gonna try to do our plays, but like I said, the chances of us doing our plays are very slim to none. So I'm gonna keep pushing. Clearly, I'm gonna keep pushing. Do whatever play you think is best. I'm not. I'm not here to babysit you. So, wow, he's actually gonna set the honest. The struggle can't be that bad. Compulse, wow, alright. He's just gonna throw the compulse at us. What's, what's the point of even throwing the compulse at us? Like, hello, unless you're planning on an OTK and that's for 16,000. Like, it's not like the monster was bothering you. So to save that, that was dumb. That was dumb. That was so dumb. That was, like, idiotic. Like, why? I got compulsed, I got mirror force. Another background, alright. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to do my play, and if I get stopped, I get stopped. Simple as that. <laughs> Dragon Boneyard, where are they coming up with these names? Like, hello? Alright. Go ahead and pick your Dragon Roller. Go ahead and right and back. Break your skill, finish chain. Wow, you actually let that go through. Alright, well, Black Rose time. So, I hope you have a solemn morning. Oh yeah. No fucking yeah. Breakthrough skill. Something. Something. Wow. Wow. You guys are so bad. Oh my god, you guys are so bad. Like, hello? Like, you had no preparation for the fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god. How do you have no fucking preparation for a Black Rose? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Alright. Cool. Uh, now I got plays for days, like, hello? Just plays for days, like, wow. Wow, alright. Alright, I'm gonna summon a Dragon Roller. I'm gonna summon a fucking Dragon Roller. Just plays for fucking days, like, wow. You guys are so fucking bad, like, why? 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 All that good damage. I'm gonna dish out that good, good. Something new for my hand. Oh my god, yes. If you don't you do not know how good that fucking feels to do that, like Like shit, they're gonna die. They're gonna fucking die. 
I'm gonna save this for your life in, in case shit hits the fan. I'll take it a little bit slower than usual. But wow, like, totally. Dude, what the fuck is this? Like, hello? Seriously, like, I seriously could have swore they were gonna break, break your skill or something, but no. And see, and that's why you should have saved the Capulse, because you could have, as soon as I went uh, Lumina summon right, and you could have Capulse one of them, because you knew that we were going to go into the Black Rose, but instead, you wasted it on fucking bouncing an Honest for no reason, like a face down monster for no reason. No reason at all. No reasons. So go ahead and do something, Mr. Yangjin guy. We'll take it a little slow. What, the, what is this? Earthquake. I can do that too, dude. I can do that too. I was about to say, did he does he have the GL2 and the two Yang Zings in his hand? I was about to say, nice top deck. So what are you gonna summon? What are you gonna summon? Sawani? You gonna summon Sawani and go into like a uh, Armades and get plus 500 so what, we crash? That totally, I don't mind that. Yeah, it looks, it looks like what you're gonna do. It's totally fine, I don't mind that. Definitely think this whole play where I could do it too kind of hindered your plays. Armades, go to 28 and then you're gonna attack me. Kamikaze? with me? Sure. Not like I can never summon it back. Alright, Tiago. Tiago's got everything that he needs. Ugh. Alright. What's that, creation? That should be interesting. Anyway, uh, so, so my presentation, what was my topic? It was the difference between collective bargaining state and right to work state. I know, hella boring topic. I didn't choose it, it was given to me. So yeah, I, have I started? No, as of right now, I've not started and I nor do I know when I'm doing my presentation. So like three, two, two girls and one guy was like in the middle of the presentation, but like usual, the teacher likes to talk and taste and say, and no, and go off in his random changes about his own fucking stories. So that became a problem, of course, because, you know, we had to stop right in the middle of the guy's presentation because the teacher is an idiot. Anyway, you gonna bounce that. You wanna play it? Or are you just gonna put it right back in your hand? Might as well take it and plop it back in your hand unless I can't even think of what it could be unless it's me just trying to break the skill. But that would still be fine because we just want to know. We want it out of the way. It's, clear, it's pretty clear that Tiago just wants that card out of the way. So the quicker that card's out of the way, the quicker he can continue his plays. That's not the problem here. So you're just going to take it, put it in his hand. And you can see with those two. So we're so chill. Like, really? Magical cylinders and shit like that. Like, hello? Anyway, so yeah, I give my presentation sometime, it should be, like I said, there's like 30 something students in the class. Was that even worth it? That wasn't worth it, Tiago. That wasn't worth it. <gasps> unless you're gonna go for game, unless you can. Really, I, I'd say that wasn't even really worth it. I'd say, I'd say we should attempt to go slow, but all right. What did he banish? Why? I had a perfectly good Black Rose in there. Tiger's doing plays that he shouldn't be doing right now. Like, I had a perfectly good Black Rose in there. Like, why banish my card that I can- why take my- my- my pen- why? Why? Why take my fucking Odd Eyes? There's no reason to take my Odd Eyes. Ah, uh, whatever, that's a game anyway. Damn it. 
damn, 7,000. You know? If that wasn't game, then <laughs> those plays wouldn't be worth it. Okay, it's okay, a game anyway. So, because they were not prepared for the black rows, all that back row, no, they're not prepared for a black rose or a white like that. It's so dumb. Like, shit, even Exiton, like, you, know, you shouldn't commit to something like that if you're not prepared to face the punishment. Like, dumb. Completely dumb. Anyway, so we sat there and we watched, um, two people's pre two and a half people's presentations. Class ended boring. We had to, if you don't show up, you lose 10-20% of your grade, so I had to show up, even though I didn't really want to. And, uh, women's, and then, uh, after that class ended, uh, and, uh, Amish girl. She didn't want to, she was busy with schoolwork, so she didn't hang out with me, like usual. So I went over to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ta Yu -Oh table, uh, no one was there. There was one guy who, I didn't even bring my cards anyway, but there was one guy who was, who was bad. He's not that good, he's like a, he's like a scrub. And the other guy, he was sitting there playing Pokemon on his 3DS, because he didn't have Smash, like what the fuck is wrong with him? Like, hello? So there was nothing to do there. So I was like, you know what, in women's literature class, all we're going to be doing is working on our essays. I'm done with my essays, so I guess I'll work on my math homework. So I'm sitting here bored and have nothing to do. Let me work on my math homework and try to work harder. So I worked on my math homework, and I was like, this is boring. I don't want to do this right now. So I just, you know, I just packed up my stuff, and I went home. Like, I didn't go to women's literature. Whatever. I can miss, like, six days, and that was, like, literally my only second day. And we only got, like, five more weeks, so I'm not planning on missing all those days in that amount of time, so... Yeah, I'll go to class on Monday, and Wednesday, of course, cause, so I can turn my ass in. So, I'll be going to Women's Literature both days next week, so, you know, you know there you go, that's another week down. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, that was actually my class on Wednesday, but the reason why I'm so tired and exhausted is what happens after I get back from college on Wednesday, so instead of uh, telling it right now since this video's over, I'll go ahead and tell it in tomorrow's video, so tomorrow's video being Friday, I will tell about my Wednesday to my Thursday, so yeah, but I'm not doing that right now, despite it being Thursday and I usually record, I'm not doing that right now, I want to I wanna nap, I am so tired and I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm dehydrated, I'm just exhausted, so yeah. Anyway, that was pretty interesting. So like I said, heroes are going to be their own by myself because that deck needs back row. That deck needs back row. Without back row, the deck really can't function that well. It's really anticlimactic. So yeah, going to be uh, uh, doing that. So heroes are by themselves. I'm going to be putting Holly with Stanzi. So we have Holly, have Stanzi. If Stanzi wants to commentate on both, I don't care. As long as he's there and as long as she's there, I don't care. But those two need to be good, because literally, like, five out of the seven days are tagged. Like, Tiago, Holly, Slate and Omega Chaos, Lunar, and Stanzi is too much. So, I'm going to take those two and put them together. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. Depends. Probably not, as I really can't get Lunar and, and, uh, and Tiago together. I can't. It's just not possible. Okay, because of the way that those two are, you know. Lunar is only on when he wants to be on, while Tiago is always on trying to get a set schedule with me, so that's not going to work, so I can't even put those two together. If I could find a way to put those two together, you know, it would be great, it would be wonderful, because then I could take that day and probably put like, uh, and put like, Burning Abyss, which I'm planning on. It might actually work, it might actually work. Taking Tiago and moving him to half and half with Lunar, in which that would be Noble Knights. Because Noble Knights is going to be pressing Medoches, this might actually work. Doing that, and then doing the deck profile for Pendulum Chaos Dragons, taking Pendulum Chaos Dragons off, and then putting Burning Abyss. Or just keeping Pendulum Chaos Dragons and just me doing that myself with it. The deck can partner, but it's kind of better by itself, but it can. So, I don't know, I might leave that to you guys. I might. So, we'll try that, we'll try that. If we could, like I said, then it wouldn't be unfair at all because all the tag partners would be together. So that means we would have three tag days videos with two partners each, and then four days of me just doing with decks that would like to be alone. So that might actually work. That might actually work. Yeah. Might actually work. So that day would be that day, that day would be that day, and that day would be that day. Hmm. That might actually work. Work. And then maybe if I could, I feel like, I mean, Kaki Mirrors are fine, uh, Noble Knights will be new. Rollups are getting kind of old, so they might be taken off of that new deck that I made. 
I don't know. We can do we can do a lot of interesting things, so I might have to discuss with everybody. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of <sighs> Daily Duels. I apologize if it, that it's late, but yeah, I'm just so tired. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow by myself, not with Holly, but by myself, using um, Heroes. Yeah, Mess Heroes. Thanks for watching.